Good morning, guys. We're going out fishing. Got my brother Ricky here. We got the bean. We're still under quarantine. I had a few comments, you know, about that. We're not out socializing, interacting with people, so we're sticking to a closed circle. But we're gonna go fishing on the reef, try to catch some snapper for dinner. We'll see you out there. All right, we're throwing the bait down. We're on a wreck out here, you guys. We got a live pinfish going out. That's really oh, good bait, yeah. you guys. Little uh, little action while we're drifting for the mutton snappers. There you go. Drift number two. We need a mutton snapper for dinner. Beaner's got him on. Bean, get him, Bean. Get him, Bean. Get him, Bean. Get him, Bean. Ah. That's a baby shark. Baby shark, doot, 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 doot. <laughs> baby shark. We were talking doot, doot, doot. about those sharks. There he came. That's, oh, he's feisty. That's an Atlantic sharp nose shark. Say goodbye. Bye, baby shark. All right, let's go get him one. What do you think it is, B? I think it's a shark. Don't lose him. You want the groin protector? Yeah, ah. that was a shark. Sharked up again. Ah. See him down there, big shark eating these pinfish. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get a look at him. Bean, you're gonna have to unhook this sinker, buddy. What kind of shark do you think it is? It's either a bull shark or a big sandbar shark. I don't know if we're gonna get him up here. We only got 30 pound leader, but you can see him down there. He's like a sandbar shark. <clears throat> down the sea. What in the world is going on here? Dun 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 dun. Big shark, baby. Big sandbar. I'm amazed you stayed on there this long. Here he comes, here he comes. Big sandbar shark there. All right, I got it. Now I heard if you touch it, it counts as a catch. I touched it. That one's for you, Josh. Oh, whoa! Look at that remora hanging on to him. Whoa. There he goes. Alrighty. Something big. Beam's hooked up. Don't lose him, Beam. Could be the fish of the day. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. It's definitely too. Nah. No. It's definitely too through whatever it was. Hooked up. We got him. Hooked up. Nick noticed a bite. Starting to reel on it. Started pulling back. Got something on. We got color. Might be our dinner. This could this be a mutton snapper? We've been fishing three and a half hours waiting for a bite. Give us a mutton snapper, please. Oh my god, it's a mutton snapper! It's a mutton snappery to me. It's a mutton snapper, there he is. Get on camera. Woo! We got one! Oh yeah! We got one! Finally, guys. It's not a real big one, but he should be a keeper. Look at those eyeballs. And <laughs> I can see him now. Whole cooked mutton snapper on the Traeger back at home. All right. Yeah. His eyeballs popped out because he was down there in deep water. When they come up, the pressure changes, the atmosphere changes, their eyeballs will pop out. It's called barotrauma. So mutton snapper got to be 18 inches to keep from tip to tip. So we'll get it right there on the tip. And he is just under 20 inches, 19 and a half inches. So he's going in the cooler. We're going to bleed him too when we throw him in here. We're going to put a little brine in there, add some salt water. That'll get him nice and cold, easier to ice down and a lot easier to fillet later on. Bury him down in there. We're good. Load up, baby. Get tight. Get tight. Hopefully it's not 
a jack. We want more mutton snapper. Uh, jack City. Oh, that little yeah. sucker fought that hard. That strong jack. All right, you unhook him, Bean, and let him go. All right. So long, buddy. Little Emberjack. All right. Say goodbye. This is lucky day. Oh, Bean, you're getting a bite. Bit up, bit up. Doubled up, doubled up. Got him out. They're biting the pins now. Oh. Jack. Action Jackson. The jacks are biting. They're chewing, man. They're chewing on this full man. That's that Guggen move with that lead swinging, too. All right. Set him down. There he goes. Oh, now I see him. Looks Jackie. Jackie Brown. Hello, Jack. Ooh. Amber Jacks are biting. Oh, yeah. There she blows. All right, here we go. We got a mutton snapper. We're going to cook them up for dinner. Usually I eat my fish filleted, but we're going to do something different. We're going to gut them, gill them, and we're going to cook them whole. So we're going to knock the scales off too. I'm not a professional at this. I do not cook a lot of whole fish, only a few times ever. So we're going to start by taking his guts out. Get rid of his guts. Here comes his gills. Just like that. Now, I'm not sure what Sarah's going to say when I show up with a whole mutton snapper. But we're going to scale them next. And then when we get home, we'll put some slices in them and pack them full of oil and butter. So you can just see the scales coming up like that. So A lot of people eat fish this way. We just, you know, I didn't grow up eating them this way and never did it. So I'm learning as we go. Just one side and then we'll do the other side. Clean out his stomach real good. We're going to take them back, pack them full of butter and seasoning, maybe a little olive oil on the outside, and throw them on the grill. So we scaled and gutted the mutton snapper. We're going to put some slices in them. We're going to put butter with some basil on one side with a little bit of pork and poultry rub. And then on the other side, we're going to put some orange olive oil on them and try out this Florida Sunshine seasoning. Let's go throw them on the grill. First time ever trying it. Here we go. Whole mutton snapper growing on the grill. Here we go. Oof. Ooh, listen to a sizzle. We'll check back in about 10 minutes, then we'll go ahead and flip them. I've never done it before. Really excited to try it out. Let's get a little juice in there. There we go, perfect. It's been 10 minutes, let's check it out. Oh, that looks good. And I spilled butter right there. I stepped in it. This is looking good. So I don't want to overcook it, so we're going to try flipping them. <laughs> that didn't work. Try flipping them now. We've never done this before. We're gonna give it a couple more minutes. Make sure it's cooked all the way. Yeah, you can see it's a little clear there, so. Five more minutes and we'll get it up. All right, let's check it out. Ooh. I can tell he's done, he's falling apart. There we go, perfect. Sadie, do you want to try the fish? I said, what is that? What is it, Sadie? It's fish. 
Don't you want to try it? Mm. Want to eat the fish? Mm. What is that? Ooh, there you go. Look at that. Now it's cooked now. Sarah's gonna try it. I'm gonna try a bite of her side, then I'm gonna flip it over and try my side too. I'm trying a bite. It's good. Snapper's without a doubt one of my favorite fish to eat. Really juicy, really good. That was Sarah's side with the butter and the basil on it with a little bit of pork and poultry rub. Very good. I gotta flip it over there to try my side. Is that the fish? Ooh, do you like it? You do? You like the fish, you approve of it. Yay. Is it a good fish? No more. All right, now we need Sarah's opinion. Tell us what you think. A mutton snapper hole on the Traeger. Good, really good. Really good? Mm-hmm. Can you taste the rub or the poultry rub yeah. or basil butter? What does it taste like? It tastes like really good fresh fish with seasonings on it. Oh, can't complain then. Mm -mm. So Sarah's side of fish was really good. We flipped it over. I took a bunch of meat off the side that I had. We had the Florida Sunshine blend on there for seasoning with some blood orange olive oil, and it is really good. There it is right there. Solid white. I wasn't sure, you know, if the fish was done the first time we checked it. Put it on for five more minutes, and as soon as we opened it up that last time, you could see the meat flaking apart. We went to pick the fish up, and it was really starting to break apart, so then we knew it was done, but really juicy, really good, tender. Snappers, without a doubt, one of my favorite fish to eat. I've never cooked a whole snapper before, so it was a learning experience, but it turned out well. Besides that bone. Bones too. I've gotten four bones in my yeah. Look. You have to. <laughs> we have to be careful when you pull the meat off, you don't get the bones. They just it, end up in it. I don't think you can avoid it. Cause Sarah, I got four. <laughs> Sarah got four bones, I got one. I hate bones and fish. No, it's still really good. It's worth it to pick the bones. Bones is just part of it. That wasn't a big mutton snapper, it was a keeper, like 19 and a half inches. They gotta be 18. But really good on the grill. There's actually quite a bit of meat left on it still, so that's gonna feed two of us. Plus, let's go check this out. Without a doubt, there's enough there on the bottom, on that side, inside of them there, on the other side. Easily that one fish could feed three people. And I would say if we filleted it, you know, it would probably would have fed two people. So I'd say close to another 30% of meat on it just from right there. So good to know if you like whole fish, Give it a shot on the grill there. You can see the bones right there. All that meat in the head up there. You can just pick it apart like that. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for following along. Stay safe, stay healthy. We've been fortunate we're down here in the Keys. We can go on the boat. We're able to avoid people and you know, it's not a busy place right now. So we'll be hanging in there, but we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye snapper. Bye bones. Bye bye bones. Look at this. That's what's left of them, guys. That's what everybody likes cooking whole fish. Just the bones left. <laughs>